Analyzing the fixed point of the Richardson model of conflict is, at least in one sense, pretty straight forward. If you are trying to do it from scratch, it might not be easy, but once you've seen the argument, it's all pretty basic algebra. So let's take a look at that. So here is the Richardson model. In the last video, we talked about shifting it around a little, but this is the model. This is the matrix A, whose eigenvalues we're interested in. We compute the determinant. We get the characteristic polynomial. And because the characteristic polynomial is quadratic, Finding the eigenvalues is a straightforward application of the quadratic formula. We now want to glean information about these eigenvalues. Are they positive or negative or real or complex? Or what can we say? And in spite of the rather ugly appearance of this thing, we're going to be able to analyze it without a huge amount of trouble. The first observation we're going to make is that this thing under the square root is positive. So we have two real eigenvalues. And the way we're going to see this is as follows. Take this expression, foil everything out. This term and this term combines. These three terms together are a square. So this is non-negative. This is strictly positive. Neither k nor l is zero. So if you have something greater than zero plus something that can't be negative, the result is greater than zero. And that leaves us with three possible cases. Um, both these roots are negative and we have an asymptotically stable node. Both of these are positive and we have an unstable node or one of them is positive and the other is negative and we have an unstable saddle. And the sign of these eigenvalues turns out to depend on the sign of this alpha, beta, minus k, l. So let's call this case one, alpha, beta, minus k, l, is negative. What does that tell us about this term under the square root? It tells us this. Remember that subtracting a negative number is addition. So this inequality is trivial. This term plus a positive constant is greater than just this term. And the square root is monotonic. So if this is greater than this, this square root is greater than this square root. 
which equals this. And now if we have negative alpha plus beta plus a number greater than alpha plus beta, that's positive. Like if alpha plus beta were five and this were seven, negative five plus seven is positive. And a positive number divided by two is still positive. So that gives us a positive eigenvalue. On the other hand, if we have a negative number minus a positive number, that's clearly a negative. A negative number divided by two is still negative. So that gives us a negative eigenvalue. And that tells us that the fixed point is a saddle. And the fixed point is unstable. And in terms of the model, this is a bad thing. It means that these armies' military expenditures do not settle down to some fixed value. They just keep blowing up to infinity until presumably war will eventually um, arise. If you look at case two, well, case two would be the reverse of case one. Every, um, this is positive instead of negative. That flips these inequalities and that turns this positive eigenvalue into a negative eigenvalue. On the other hand, a negative number minus a negative number is still negative. So this negative eigenvalue in the case two is still a negative eigenvalue. And the result is an asymptotically stable node. So that's a good thing, or about as good as you could expect anyway. This means that the countries will settle into an armed peace, and hopefully war will not break out. Now, of course, talking about this model predicts peace, this model predicts war. Obviously, Richardson did not think this model represented some kind of mathematical predestination. Like Richardson never thought that if this inequality was satisfied, the two countries would definitely 100% have to go to war. 
what he said was that the process described by these equations is not to be thought of as inevitable. It is what would occur if instinct and tradition were allowed to act uncontrollably. So war can always be avoided. It just requires conscious, intelligent thought, was how Richardson would have thought of it. He was a, a pacifist and a peace activist.